Welcome to my kitchen. I think we should start the house tour, apartment tour in the kitchen. This is much bigger than the kitchen that I had before. So I'm so excited to show you everything we've got. So let's just start over here. This is not exactly like super duper finishes. Some of the things might be a little rough on the edges, but generally speaking, we're almost done. Um, I took this from my old apartment. This is a thrift shop find and I really, really adore this. Um, we have three different drawers. So the vegetables that I need to put outside the fridge, they go in here because it's rather dark. Then we have a box for tools and things that I use on quite a daily basis, especially during the move. This is a temporary solution, but this is where we keep all the canvas bags that we use on a daily basis. There are quite a lot of them. Um, so this is just a really nice and convenient way to simply just grab one. But I will have to come up with another storage solution than just hang them here, please. And here we have our dishcloths and a basket for dirty ones as well, so. The countertop is so large and there's just so much space. I love that. This is Jens's toaster. And then I have some kombucha chili. And I have put up these pictures and a mirror here. So I really like it. And uh, just some small bits and bobs. This is an old ceramic bowl that I have. It's second hand as well. This is our little cleaning aisle. This is where we do our dishes. This is where our sink is. And we have a couple of bits and bobs that are kind of zero waste related here as well. First of all, everything we use to do the dishes and to do cleaning is here. And uh, these are all natural fiber sponges. So they don't retain any microplastic, which is great. We also have our dish brushes and then these smaller brushes for uh, straws. And then we have our bulk soap. Uh, we keep the larger uh, container somewhere else, but this is the soap that we use and we get this from bulk. Also, I put on the water saving tabs from Aqua. These will save you 92% of your water consumption and they look like this. And they can look like this. This is sort of a little regrowing station. I have here a small piece of lettuce. I have spring onion. And okay, I really want to show you this plant one second. This is an oregano that I got from a little street vendor, uh, just like a, an old woman who had like tons of plants and you can buy them really, really cheaply. And she regrew these herself. So this is a Cuban oregano and it smells really, really nice. The rest of this carrot tap space is just used for miscellaneous spits and bobs for cooking. And I also have jars here with bread and dried goods that I use on a daily basis. Blender. I just got this cutting board. <laughs> I really love this. What did we pay for this? Three quid in a thrift shop. Mm, something like that. It's really, really nice. I love that. Up here is different kinds of spices and herbs. Um, most of this is bulk as well. Tiny little storage container for our bamboo cutlery and our bamboo uh, chopsticks. And this is simply just a can from the supermarket, but I love the colors on this, so I just kept using it. In here, I'm storing all the jars that I am not using at the moment. We have all the jars here. Then some different bigger things for cooking, like my steamer, and my strainer, and then all the lids for <laughs> for the jars. This takes up quite a lot of space. Underneath the sink, I have my Bokashi compost bin that I will be making a guide for really, really soon. I think I talked about this ages ago, but my last compost was stolen, and then I didn't want to do a new compost because I knew I would be moving. So this is the new compost. This is actually a gift from a sustainable company. So. I will be making a guide about this and uh, it's going to be really awesome. But yeah, this is my Bokashi compost and it goes easily underneath the sink. Dun, dun, dun. Then we have the fridge. It looks like this. Right now it's semi-stocked, um, but I'm going to go to the farmer's market on Saturday. But we keep some different leftovers in jars. Then we keep our veg just out and about, no plastic bags. And leafy greens, they go in jars over here in water, um, which I think is super easy and they stay fresh for so, so long. This is from last week and it's still super crispy. So that's really nice. And pantry. Pantry game. This is where we keep all the pasta in the world. <laughs> this is the only thing that matters. Okay. Um, but this is the pantry and these two shelves of the pantry are bulk items 
Then I have different items up here in either cardboard, paper or glass and the same down here. I also have a couple of tins and you know some jars and stuff but all of this is actually from bulk shops and this is kind of my pride and joy. I love this so much and uh, I use three different bulk shops depending on where I am. Two in Aarhus and one in Copenhagen. And this is like a small kitchen, uh, eating, dining, cozy area. I made this picture wall with all the pictures in the world, but we have so many paintings and pictures, frames to use for things. And this table, I think you've seen that plenty of times. It's in every single one of my videos because it is one of the pieces of furniture that I have that is older than me. And then we styled it with Jens's chairs and uh, this tiny little a stepping stool because I am a small girl and I need I need steps otherwise I can't reach my own spice rack. So. Here we have all our cutlery and different kinds of small things. These separators are all thrifted and I love them two bits. I think it looks so good. We also have something down here and most of these things are secondhand or really, really, really old as well. Um, so it's a good mix of both our stuff. Here we have more things. I love these sushi mats to bits because I was looking for uh, a sushi mat for ages and I couldn't find one in the thrift shop and now I find one, I'm so happy about it. And here are my silicone baking sheets that I use instead of, you know, paper baking sheets. And a little coffee filter. And down here we keep different kinds of wax wraps, we keep these cotton covers, stasher bags and then tons of napkins. These are napkins that you get for free usually when you buy something and you sort of need it to go. And you can throw these away but you really don't need to, this is just a great napkin so we'll just save them in here and use them whenever we need a napkin. <laughs> Then we have recycling stuff like glass we simply just have here next to the sink because we have a recycling bin right next to our flat. And at the bottom of the pantry down here we have recycling. This is for plastic and metal and this is for paper and cardboard. Okay, so I... <laughs> Low key forgetting where the switch is. So the bathroom is a huge improvement from my last apartment because this is actually the bath and the toilet is in the same room. It's a whole new world for me because my previous shower was in my kitchen, so. But now everything is together. The shower is here. This is actually a bidet, um, but this is what we use to shower. And then there's a shower curtain here. Then we have our sort of our showering supplies here. Have a little bag of menstrual cups as well, cute. Um, razors, shampoos, scrubs. And then a hand soap and a shampoo down there as well. Here and then organic cotton towels. So that's nice. Oh, and the soap that we're using was sent to me by one of my subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I'm so happy. So this is basically everything else. We have our dental supplies here, oral hygiene. We use tooth taps and bamboo toothbrushes. Then I have my cotton rounds up here for cleaning and different kinds of scrubby things here that I use in the shower to exfoliate. Keep them here. And miscellaneous products here like sun lotion, face oil, hair, lo hair oil, stuff like that. And in here we have the biggest storage space for soap anyone has ever seen in their lives. And then all kinds of other things here, hairbrushes, menstrual cups, a portable bidet, just, just chilling, this is actually really nice. And a storage for more toothbrushes once we need to switch them. And that's the toilet. Now we're going into the living room and this is the space where Jens and I really sort of merged our personalities a little bit and it's very very visible um but i have my couch the velvet couch i really really love this and uh, the pillows are also second hand and jens had a picture wall here before i moved in so we simply just added my pictures to the picture wall i guess you can perhaps see which ones are his and which ones are mine well we can't see a lot because oh oh that's claire hello this is sort of like a a fancy and functional plant holder, but it holds all my business documents and stuff that I need to run a business that's in there. And then we have the biggest plant. I didn't know that this was growing so big until we had to move, which is really fun. But this was in um, this was in my living room 
windowsill in the other apartment, so I didn't really pay much attention to it, and it's just... <sighs> doesn't even fit in the frame, it there we go. I am going to make a plant tour at some point because some people suggested it and I like that idea so that's what we're going to do. The furniture in here are either Jensis, so kind of old, no shade. <laughs> I'm sorry. Or they're mine, which means they're second hand. I'm just gonna give Jens a big shout out here because if you remember these, the, the other ones as well actually, but this shelf system I got when I moved into my last apartment and they had these red shelves on it or like these red drawers and I never really got around painting them so when we moved them in here you, you did this in one day and you painted them white and we found these small nubs in a second hand shop it was really cool so now it looks nice and why did I wait three years to do that no one knows this is my pride and joy I love this corner so goddamn much this is the color coordinated book wall yeah. Okay, so if you are one of those people who organize by, you know, alphabetical order or by author, this will be your worst nightmare. <laughs> but, uh, so I color coordinated all of this and I think it looks so good. And it's a good combination of books about sustainability and classic literature and Dungeons and Dragons. So that's the combination that we're going with. And then there are all of these small bits and bobs and knickknacks that are all thrifted or very meaningful. Um, and I really love that. And then there's small other things like a beholder and I like it. Then we got my chair and then more pictures and greens. I think this is so nice. Ah! Okay, let's go. This is very much indeed your corner, isn't it? Well, yeah. Honey, this is, this is you. There are your DVDs and all your board games that you collect so vigorously. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. There are also a couple of things in here that are mine, like some thrifted vintage games and small party games and stuff. And I gave you this for your birthday question mark or uh, Christmas question mark? Chris, Christmas last Qu year. Christmas. This is a vintage gumball machine and uh, you have d20s in there now. Are you done squeaking the floors? I mean it's very squeak. It's not my fault. <laughs> Why is it squeaky? <laughs> this is the table and the chairs that you had when I moved in and the pictures are yours as well. And I think it's very difficult to go through a home tour now that we live together without also talking about the Legos. This is all Jens's Lego modular buildings. And even though I'm not a crazy fan of either plastics or toys or Lego honestly um, for that matter, but I think Legos is the kind of plastic that gets thrown out the least, <laughs> like generally. So it's like a perfectly nice and really cute and charming combination of both our styles and our interests. And I really, really love that. So we have art things and sustainability things and thrift things and vintage things. And then we have Dungeons and Dragons and Lego. And I just, I love this living room. I think it's nice. And now we have the bedroom, which is the last part. We come in here and then we have our I have like a small silk kimono and Jens has his cozy wear here. Then I have uh, two different tripods for my camera. And I actually really wanted to show you these small hooks because these are made from recycled brass and they are so pretty. Oh yeah, and then we have a reusable mask chilling there. And then I took my shelves from my uh, previous living room and put them in here. So now it stores some books, some knickknacks and a lot of my own books <laughs> and then sunglasses and jewelry and all kinds of miscellaneous stuff I really really like how this turned out and this also adds like a very decorative and light feel in my room so I like how this bedroom actually turned out it's very light in comparison to the living room which is very earthy with a lot of like natural tones and blues and reds and stuff but this is different and I like that there are two different vibes to the rooms then we have here this is big hello this is Jens's closet he had this when I moved in so we simply just kept that because this works just fine and honestly I haven't had a closet with doors in years like 10 years or something so this is actually really fun so if we move this part we have bags and scarves and different kinds of accessories we have bed sheets and linen we have Jens's clothes my clothes like a shared this is a shared jumper cardigan drawer 
And then we have underwear, both his and hers. Haha. <laughs> and uh, socks and down here we have oh we have towels and workout gear we will move this da, 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 da. and go into the other part i i had the pleasure of uh, color coordinating our clothes as well so everything is color coordinated and i really really adore this uh this is a suit that jens made during lockdown and you've made several suits and pieces for suits and they're all like we have just mixed our clothes on hangers that all mixed this is your uh it's my christmas suit your christmas suit <laughs> and this is just like a super pink suit and i think it matches really well with this dress that i have that is tinsel and pink marble this is my workspace slash filming space and uh I'm so excited about how this turned out as well i think it's actually even better than in my uh, previous apartment um, so we put everything up and we have so many plants and it's just too, uh, it, it, it's so cool. And the desk is second hand, so it's the chair. And I got these about a year ago, something like that, on Facebook Marketplace. It's an amazing place to find second hand furniture. You can find so much stuff. Hello, moles. Oh, and Lena Dodies. And Lena Lena Dodies. I'm just carrying the dog because she's amazing. She's a good girl. This piece is a gift from Jens for last Christmas, I feel like, yeah. And it's also a vintage poster, which I really like. And this is an heirloom, one of Jens's heirlooms. Then we have the bed. All the sheets are organic cotton, uh, fair trade and generally sustainably sourced, which is amazing. And this picture is one of Jens's, but I absolutely love it, so it's of course going to stay. It's a Star Wars Shakespeare-themed trilogy poster and i think it's cool i love it it's amazing and in the window here we have different types of plants this is a souvenir from an antique shop from madrid and we have more plants and more plants and then two pictures that i haven't hung yet and this is a thrift find from a previous apartment as well but this is simply just a white ladder that we use to hang clothes that we want to wear the next day which is kind of handy and neat. So that is the sleeping room. No. Bedroom? That's the bedroom. Why did I forget because bedroom? It's the room where the bed is. It is the room where the bed is. It's also the room where the dog where the dog is. She's so so long. And that is our apartment. Yeah. Yay! Well that's a you know a store space in the basement but uh that is for, for us to know and you to, to not uh, see, because it is a big old mess right it's now. It's a big old moving mess, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This was our apartment. We're going to be making improvements and change stuff over, like, forever. Uh, Check because back in two weeks, it's going to look completely different. If I know. I also really wanted to add that you can redecorate and you can love decor and home decorations and everything that is related to making your home beautiful and unique without going to stores and spending money on new things like you can make stuff yourself and you can buy stuff secondhand and you can support local or sustainable businesses and your home will be so amazing and beautiful and also sustainable so i just really wanted to add that okay cool thank you so much for watching bye thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my patreon supporters you guys help me create green zero waste contents and i love you guys you can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my patreon on this screen bye